Hi, a very good day to everyone. Earth Day is an annual event celebrated on 22nd of April every year to demonstrate the support for environmental protection. It was first celebrated on 22nd of April in the year of 1970. This year, the theme for Earth Day is Restore Our Earth. In this video, let us first look on what is Earth and what are the destruction the Earth is facing right now. Then, we shall look into 10 simple steps on how you can play your part to restore the Earth. Your simple step can make a huge difference, so listen carefully to the entire video. This is Earth. Earth consists of water and land. 71% of Earth's surface is filled with water and the balance 29% of Earth's surface is filled with land. Earth is formed 4.5 billion years ago and the first life appeared on Earth around 4.1 billion years ago. Oxygen Human need oxygen to breathe in and releases carbon dioxide when breathe out. And human get oxygen from plants and tree through photosynthesis process, right? This is correct, but let me tell you one more secret. 50 to 80 percent of oxygen on this earth are coming from the ocean. Ocean? Yes, from ocean. Oxygen came from an aquatic life called plankton in the ocean. So, now you can see how important ocean is to human life. Let us look into the type of landform on Earth. Earth has mountains, hills and plain. Plain is an open space of land and underground area. Then we have valley. Valley is a low ground area in between mountains on which water flows down from mountain and hills to its lower ground area. Water from mountain will flow from valley into rivers and this water will be ended up in the ocean. This whole area where the water flow from valley up to bay or estuary is called watershed. Now let us look on the life that lives on earth. We have trees and plants. We have animals and insects. In the ocean, we have other aquatic life other than fish like plankton, nectar, benthos, decomposers and coral reef. Under the ground, we have worms. Oh, not to forget, we also have human who lives on earth. In this video, we will focus on human because human is the only living species who are causing damages to the earth, not the animals or plants. For living, human do work. But what type of work we do? We hunt and kill animals and wildlife for their meat and their parts. We do fishing activity to catch fish but at the same time we destroy other marine species. We cut trees in the name of deforestation to expand our cities, to expand our agricultural land, to expand our livestock farming and to build our homes by destroying animals' home. We build more industries and factories and polluting the air, water and land. Other than that, humans also do many other destruction on this earth like throwing rubbish everywhere. We do not manage our waste properly. We are also polluting the air through industrialization and illegal burning of forest. We also dispose chemicals into the rivers. On the sea, ships spill oil into the ocean and also disposing waste into the ocean to save operating cost. If we continue to do the same and don't change our attitude and habit, what do you think will happen to the earth 30 years from now? This 
Yes, this is how the earth will look like approximately 30 years from now. If you are in your 30s, you will be in your 60s by then. Soil will be dead and it is full of chemicals and you can't grow crops for food. There will be starvation in the whole world as food production is not sufficient. There will be no trees as all the forests will be demolished to build our houses and factories in the name of urbanization. There will be no clean water as all the water being polluted with plastic and chemicals. There will be no wild animals, no corals, no fish in the ocean as ocean will have more plastic than fish by 2050. The whole world will be empty and dead. Do you think you would like to have this kind of earth when you are old? No, right? Then you have to take the action from now itself. According to environment scientists, we only have 10 years from now to change our habit and attitude to avoid this happen by 2050. So let us see what we can do. We have 10 simple steps over here that you can do as your part to save the earth. Number 1. Throw rubbish in garbage bin only. Number 2. Pick up rubbish everywhere you see and dispose it into the garbage bin. Number 3. Don't use plastic and single-use plastics. Only use replacement items. Number 4. Use reusable mask and avoid single-use mask. Even if you use single-use mask, ensure to cut the ear loop before you throw. Number 5. Don't flush tissues and rubbish like pads into the toilet bowl. Number 6. Don't pour used oil and other garbages into the kitchen sink. Number 7. Grow trees and plants at home to increase oxygen and to reduce carbon dioxide. Number 8. Be compassionate to animals and protect animals from danger. Number 9. Become a volunteer and save animals including street animals, wildlife and marine life. Number 10. Educate others including your parents, siblings, neighbors, relatives and friends. Share this information in social media and create the awareness. Also discuss with your teachers and classmates to do monthly activities to save the earth. So, these are the summary of the 10 simple steps that you can follow to save our earth. As an end note, we would like to emphasize that Earth Day is not a celebration, but a continuous action to save the earth. Take a pledge now and be a responsible citizen. Thank you for watching.